Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another sourcing video for you guys. It's gonna be a little mashup of everything. I got some yard sales and community sales from yesterday. Today I'm going thrifting and I also have some clips from earlier in the week where I went thrifting as well, which means this video is gonna be a nice little mashup of different kinds of stuff to look for. Got some good hard goods, got some good clothing. It's just gonna be a nice all around video. Hopefully you guys learned something and hopefully you enjoy. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into this video and get things started. Here we go. What were you asking on the cycling trainer? I didn't have a price. I don't know what they're worth. What, do you have any kind of idea what you were asking on it? I didn't I just brought this stuff from her house <laughs> and it sat in my garage for two weeks because my husband wouldn't park out of the garage. And so I finally got a room to move it out and I had no idea. I got these here. Why don't you, can you Google that? Do you like you, 20 you bucks on it? I'd do that. Cool. Do that. I'd or, do that. All right, we just had our first pickup here. It is a bike trainer. As you can see right here, Cyclops is the brand name, and I'm pretty sure this brand is a good one. I'm not 100% sure, but I took a chance at 20 bucks. Figured even if it's not a great one, I can probably get at least 50 out of it, but I think this is a good one, so that's a pretty good pickup. Right. I'm gonna grab the good glasses. How much are they? Um, a dollar each for the glasses and case. Okay, so I got a gla one glasses, one case. Do you want me to give you an extra buck for the box? Um, I don't mind. Okay. Yeah, I got two pieces from those last two sales. This is a pair of Roxy snowboarding goggles. I don't know if these have any value to them. I just figured for a buck, hey, I'll take the chance. And then over here, I got a pair of Burberry glasses. They feel right. The box the box feels really good. The, uh, the case felt right. You know, it feels like the quality fuzzy on the inside and everything. The, the embossing right there looks good. And on the inside were these Burberry glasses. They were actually outside of it, but they are new with tag, and you can see right there it says 225 bucks. I don't know if they're legit or not. I'm gonna have to do some digging, but I mean, I got them for two bucks or something for that whole thing. So I figured it's worth a shot. I'm gonna have to definitely look up the numbers and make sure they're legit and everything, but we're hoping. Shame on you. Do that average. 
Yeah. I'm gonna grab that vest off you guys. Alright. Five dollars. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna grab that tote bag too. Okay. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. And you got a bag that continues shopping, I do. right? <laughs> a good sturdy one. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. I'll give. I'll put your hanger back over there too. How much is the bat? Three. I'll grab that. Like a boogie board type thing? How much is that? Two. Yeah. Bag of food stuff? Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. All the cards over here are 50 cents. Okay. All right, well, if you need anything else, if you think something else that you might like, just text me. I got some cute clothes for you. Thank you that I thought, well, I'll just can't take they are really like cute. All right, I'll grab the two jerseys and the okay. bat off you. Okay. Put your hangers back over there for you too. Okay. okay, so at those two sales right there, we picked up a few things. Picked up a DeMarini Vexium. I didn't look it up, but for three bucks, I took the chance on it. Same sale, picked up two um, youth jerseys. This one's a Chicago Bulls, Adidas, Rose jersey, and a Indiana Adidas, George jersey. Uh, those were like 50 cents a piece, so four bucks for those ones and then at the other sale I got a Ray-Ban tote bag which I thought was pretty unique not really sure if there's any value in it I just thought it was cool and I'm sure there's some kind of value and a Patagonia um, women's vest which I mean Patagonia obviously gonna grab it and I paid 10 bucks total for those and the vest alone will make me well over that back so that was a pretty good pickup Going down the electronics here, found this Verizon Jetpack, paying $10 for it. The model is MiFi 6620L, and I just looked it up. Looks like this one is going for right around 50 bucks, so that'd be a nice little profit right there. I did make sure it was in there. All right, here's a pretty cool piece. This is a Nike Irish LeBron James jersey. Going to be paying $3 for it. It is a youth jersey, but you can see it is LeBron James. It's an uncommon jersey and I think it might have some value to it. I haven't looked it up yet, but for three bucks, I'm gonna snag it. All right, I was just going through the large items and found this. It's a Jeff World of Golf bag carrier cart, and I just looked them up online. It looks like they're going for around 150 bucks. There's some used comps at that high. There's some around 100, some around 150. This one has the straps and stuff, which I think makes it to the, the deluxe one. Not 100% on that, but I'm gonna take a chance on it either way. Hopefully sell it locally. Give me paying ten dollars. This is a pretty cool find. This is an Indian motorcycles like mechanic shirt, and on the back, the big Indian motorcycle. I don't know what this one will go for. I'm gonna pick it up just because I know this brand sells. Five dollars. All right, got another little motorcycle pool here. HD Harley Davidson. Good tag, it's gonna be $8 and it's got the big spell out on the back. We're gonna grab that. Down just a little further, you found this. It's a Adidas trefoil vest. You can see the trefoil on there. Good clean tag. It's a newer one, obviously. It's got the trefoil on the buttons. And on the back, the big trefoil logo. That vest is pretty cool. We're gonna snag it at $5. All right, we got another Harley Davidson jacket coming in clutch. My girlfriend found this one, but she doesn't want to be on camera. $7.99. It's got the big spell out down the sleeve and the open face logo on the back. Good little find right there. 
All right, here's a brand I've never picked up. It's Howler Bros. I'm gonna be paying $6 for it. I just looked up comps on them. They look like they're going between 20 to 30 bucks, depending on the style. So I'm gonna snag it and try it out. Just had a pretty good come up here. These are the Nike Vapormax Pluses. Sell very, very well. Very good shoe to find. They're normally about 120 used. Unfortunately, this pair, as you can see in the back, has like a deflated heel and you can hear the air coming out. So I still think they'll have some value, just not what they normally would be. And on the way out behind the counter, I saw these guys sitting there. As you can see, they're Ray-Bans. Really pretty nice ones, actually. And I ended up only paying $5 on them. I didn't even look them up, look up comps or anything, just because Ray-Bans for five bucks and they look like good quality ones. I'll take the chance. Hopefully they're real and hopefully we'll make some decent money on there. All right, that's gonna wrap things up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember, if you did learn something, leave me a comment in the comment section below. I would love to know what you learned. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.